The scanner class is an important class in Java, and it allows the user to import information from the keyboard and from a file. Before you can use the scanner class, though, you must import it from the util package. Java has several packages that are available to it, but all of these packages should not be loaded at once because that would put a strain on memory. In order to use the scanner class, one has to pull the scanner class out of the util package and say, for this program, I'm going to use the scanner class. And you write a statement as I have here on the PowerPoint. It says import java.util.scanner. Import is the keyword that's importing the scanner class. Util is the package name. It's coming from the util package, and util is short for utility. And then finally, it's the name of the class, which we're going to use the scanner class. This must be at the very top of your program if you're going to use the scanner class. You could also use a wildcard here. That would indicate I want to use everything inside of the util package. But because we're not using everything inside of it, why waste the extra memory or the extra computing power that is necessary to bring in all the classes of the utility package? And so using the name of the class is preferred over using the wildcard, although both will work, and you might see both in a program. Also, when using the scanner class, one must create a scanner object. The first part of this is the name of the class. So we would say scanner and then from key. From key could be anything. I wrote from key because in the next video we're going to show you how to take in input from the keyboard. So I called mine from key. And then finally, we have scanner system.in. Scanner is a constructor and it will always be the same name as the class. So if you see scanner here, you're going to see scanner here. And then system.in, telling where the scanner is going to get its information from. It's going to get it from the keyboard. With those two pieces of information, how to import the scanner class and how to construct an object of the scanner class, we can now utilize the scanner class in order to take in input from the keyboard and input from a file.